It's an important thing about security. It's neat to know. Not all generals, for example, during the war got access to the super secret German communication. All right. So now, after the FBI dude, not even going to say his name anymore. Well, fucking Comey. Like a lot of you, I watched that interview, I think, on my last show, I talked about it, where it sounded like he was about to say, and I find that we should indict Hillary Clinton. That's what I thought. I think that's what everybody thought. But it turns out that was not the case. Instead, we, after after laying out everything Hillary had done, he told us he should, well, he told us and expects us all to believe that no prosecutor, no reasonable, see, I think that's the key words, no reasonable prosecutor, see, I think they reasoned with him. I think he can't say anything, but he's willing, he was willing to say today to the, at the congressional hearings that he didn't think Hillary Clinton was sophisticated enough to understand, even though she was a senator and a president's, you know, a first lady and secretary of state. <laughs> I mean, all of these things. And he said he could not find. So I believe he was threatened. I believe, you know, maybe if it was just him, it would be one thing. But I think they threatened him, his family, his family's family for the rest of eternity. I, I think they probably threatened to wipe out his bloodline. Because... Here we go. I am going to, there, the, here's this video going around Facebook, and I'm going to play it for you now. I did not send or receive any information that was marked classified. Secretary Clinton said she never sent or received any classified information over her private email. Was that true? Our investigation found that there was classified information sent. So it was not true. I did not send classified material, and I did not receive any material that was marked or designated classified. Secretary Clinton said there was nothing marked classified on her emails, either sent or received. Was that true? That's not true. I had uh, not sent uh, classified material nor received anything uh, marked classified. Secretary Reed, Clinton Reed, said Reed, I did Reed. not email any classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified material. Was that true? There was classified material emailed. Secretary Clinton said she used just one device. Was that true? She used multiple devices during the four years. Secretary Clinton said all work-related emails were returned to the State Department. Was that true? No, we found work-related emails, thousands, that were not returned. Was that true? That's not true. Was that true? No. Was that true? That's not true. Was that true? No, 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 no. All right, you guys heard that. You had to have. And that's reality. Yes, there was some editing in there. They just took out the explanation. The answer is what mattered there. Did she lie? Yes. Did she lie? Yes. Well, no. Okay, he worded it. Was that true? Was that true? It's the same thing. It's all words, word games, word tricks. That's what they're trying to use. Okay, people need to check out Royal Admiralty Law, Cemetery Law, Law of the Land, Law of the Sea, those kind of things. Because they're real, and that's what's going on. Jordan Maxwell talks about it quite a bit. I believe maybe even uh, David Icke has brought it up. I've listened to a lot of his stuff. I tend to, to play it as I'm falling asleep. But, and, and you know, people thought, Guys like me were just nuts. We're just nuts. We're lying. Well, there it is for everyone to see. And now a lot of people know it, and they're pissed off. And not just Americans, Canadians, and British, because it shows them that it's possible. It shows them that it's happening. It's happening here, here in Canada. But Canadian criminals that are in government tend to be, most of the time, tend to be a little more um, guarded with their stuff and uh, on the down low about it. They're not so blatant and obvious as Hillary and Bill Clinton are. They're just not. And the fact that a bunch of people are on a kill list. Yeah, there is a kill list here. Let me see. All right. Now, here's a list of the people that are dead that know stuff about Bill or Hillary and were either thinking about 
or Bill and Hillary were afraid they were thinking about coming forward with this information. Number one, James McDougall. Number two, Mary Mahoney. Three, Vince Foster. Four, Ron Brown. No, I'm not going to list them all, but there's 35. Okay, that's a pretty big number. And even the hacker that uh, I can't remember where the guy's from, um, but he's dead. He was found dead in his jail cell. Everybody who was going to testify was found dead. The following Clinton bodyguards are dead. Major William S. Barkley Jr., Captain Scott J. Reynolds, Sergeant Brian Hanley, Sergeant Tim Sable, Major General, like, ugh, generals, and so people that are up, colonels, Colonel William Densberger, Colonel Robert Kelly. These are pr probably all people that realized the Zionist slash Illuminati plan and realized that Clinton was a big part of it and is a big part of it. Colonel Robert Kelly, yes, uh, Gary Rhodes, Steve Willis, Robert Williams, Conway LeBlu, and Todd McKeon. See, so there's 35, 47 total. That's probably just in the last four to eight years. I, I bet you a big chunk of that's probably in the last four weeks. Okay, so do something about it, guys. Don't let this one go away. Don't let it disappear. And in this case, listen to the Republicans and listen to Donald Trump. I don't care if you like him. You, you like Hillary because she's a woman? Screw you. The world's more important than, than having a female president at all costs, even if she's pure evil. You just want to say she's the lesser of two evils? Are you insane? Donald Trump is telling the truth. The elite around the world are scared to death of it. Because they can't just flat out kill him now. At least not yet. They have to find a way to do it that doesn't seem suspicious. Not that they would necessarily get caught, but at this point in time, they can't afford the bad publicity, especially with what the police are doing. So, and there's another thing, right? Finally, even here in Canada now, I would post on uh, about what's going on here with police. I even had American police call Canadian police and come arrest me for what I was talking about several times. The first time, two guys in black suits uh, with black coats showed up trying to act all tough and scary. It was, it was a laugh. I'm still waiting for the one guy to come back. He said, if I have to come back, you're not going to like me very much. I find you funny. I find you a punk. Where are you? It's been almost, well, probably over a year now. I'm not saying anything differently than I did then. And now the rest of the world knows it. Now it's public. Now it's being, it's on mainstream news. It's on CBC. It's on radio stations, 97.7 Hits FM, here in St. Catharines. They're playing the videos. So they're watching it over and over. And then you see another one comes out the same day. Sometimes just an hour, even two hours later, another city, two cops stopping an innocent person illegally and killing them. Everybody sees it now. I don't sound so crazy anymore, do I? Time for the police to get their shit together, or for us to fire them all. I don't think anybody should be spending any tax money. Actually, people should probably even just stop paying taxes until something's done. We need to stop hiring lawyers and millionaires and billionaires to run our country. They're all corrupt. They don't care about our best interests. They care about their best interests and their friends' best interests. That's all there is to it. And you're not on their friend list. Go to their Facebook page if you can find it. See if you're there. Demand better. While we're at it, while everybody's starting to wake up to stuff, pay attention to what's going on with politicians, how much money they're getting. I think we put them all on minimum wage and give them a minimum gas allowance. They're not allowed to eat. They can brown bag it. They can bring their lunch to work like most other people have to. Or they can purchase it with their own money like we have to. And a Robin Hood tax on all the banks and churches pay taxes from now on. If you're not going to pay taxes, you shut your mouth when it comes to politics. You don't get to talk policy and what should be going on in my life and in my bedroom and in my city. But you don't even pay taxes. And never have. This is Steve Crawford. Don't forget this. Have a good night, people. She stands, you